Ashraf Ghani is considered one of the main rivals of Hamid Karzai in the presidential elections, but like every one of the 41 candidates, he's still marooned in Kabul, eight days after the campaign began, receiving visitors at his home. He's vowed to go to one of his main power bases in the east of Afghanistan, but electioneering began without him in the city of Host on Tuesday, coinciding with the news that a roadside bomb had just injured five construction workers. The leader of al-Qaeda in Afghanistan told Al Jazeera his fighters had now joined with the Taliban in launching attacks in the city, which borders the Pakistani region of Waziristan. Well, the danger is assassination. But that is an acceptable risk that we need to face in order to rescue this country. We need to convey the image that we don't fear anything but fear itself. The enabling environment for al-Qaeda in the insurgency is actually provided by the failure of this government. And that is the central issue. My contention is that the greatest threat to this country now is a predatory government that is so deeply entrenched in corruption that it cannot address the needs and aspirations of the people. Ashraf Ghani used to be the finance minister in the Karzai cabinet and was once tipped to be the head of the World Bank and the Secretary General of the United Nations. His opinion is shared by many of the people in Host. The situation here is really having a bad impact on our business. We used to earn up to $300 a day. Now it's dropped to just $60. There are no more visitors here, only security guards. The forecast for the election campaign is far from bright. Attacks by the Taliban are running at record high levels and they're not just confined to the south and east of this country. And many of the candidates are complaining that their police escorts are simply too young and inexperienced to protect them. Close to Kunduz in the north of Afghanistan, Tuesday, three German soldiers died in a firefight with the Taliban when their armoured vehicle crashed while taking evasive action. Al Jazeera compiled a package on the increasing strength of the Taliban in the region two weeks ago. This is Kalacha village. The bureau's senior producer who took the footage was arrested by the Secret Service after it was broadcast and interrogated for four days. Two hours drive south of the capital Tuesday, a suicide bomber aimed a van loaded with explosives at an American military convoy. The attack claimed by the Taliban succeeded only in killing two Afghan civilians who happened to be passing by. But one policeman was killed in the same district when the Taliban ambushed another convoy. Three Afghan aid workers also died near Mazar-e Sharif in the north of the country when their car was blown up by an improvised explosive device. And again in Kandahar, three Afghan policemen were killed by a roadside bomb. David Chater, Al Jazeera, Kabul.